I'm doing a little experiment today, guys. Everybody that I know loves raspberry, loves my raspberry buns. So I'm making some, but I thought white chocolate goes really well with raspberry, doesn't it? With raspberry jam or whatever, raspberry and white chocolate. So I'm going to try and make the buns with white chocolate chips inside. The jam, just the same and then drizzle white chocolate over the top just to see how it goes and just for fun and fancy if they're not good I don't make them again but we'll see as always for my raspberry buns I've got a hundred grams of butter in my food processor that I'm just gonna whisk you know chop up for want of a better word Chop my butter. <laughs> Just to soften it really. Want a hundred grams of pasta sugar. And I want 200 grams of self raising flour. Put your self-raising flour in your food processor with your butter. Now, like I said before, when I've made these before, you can rub the butter into the flour if you like with your hands. It's entirely up to you, but I prefer to do it in a food processor, mainly because I've got arthritis in my fingers. Um, I don't like rubbing butter into flour into butter anyway. I think it gives you. Mm. It goes through me, so I much prefer to use my food processor. So pop your butter and your flour, self-raising flour in together and then give that a whip around in the processor. sure it's all getting incorporated together should look like it's all mixed in I just let all the um, I just let the food process do, do its job now you want one egg that a little whisk and a few drops of vanilla extract just ha I'll just put half a teaspoon in and the egg
and now I'm adding some milk. I'm just going to add two teaspoons of milk because that door is quite nice and I don't forget to put vanilla extract in so I'm just going to put a couple of teaspoons of milk in just see what it's like because you don't always need milk sometimes just an egg's enough Now I'm going to add some white chocolate chips. There's 100 grams in here, so I'll just put half in, 50 grams. Whiz them round with the chocolate chips. <laughs> Oh, and whilst I'm on, I just want to say hi to a lovely young lady that looked after me in um, the school uniform shop this morning. It's called Monk House in Preston. I'd gone to exchange a sweater uh, for Alfie's school. Um, he's grown so much. I got him a 34 at the beginning of the holidays, but he needs a 36. So I'd just gone to swap it. And... Um, she looked at me and she said, you do look familiar. And I said, oh, do I? She said, yeah. And then when she went for the sweater and she come back, she went, are you on TikTok? I said, yeah. She went, oh, I thought it were you. She, went, she said, I watch you all the time. So I forgot to ask what your name was. I'm really sorry, but it was lovely to meet you. And thank you for saying hi. It's lovely when people uh, chat to me because I love meeting people, but then I get people who say, I saw you at traffic centre, but I, did, I didn't like to say hello, you was with somebody, or or I saw you somewhere, and, you, you, and I say, well, why didn't you say hi? And they go, oh, I didn't like to, but always, always say hello to me, because I love meeting new people. I, I, I love meeting you guys. Right, so these are a bit different, aren't they, this time, because I've got, um, Right, just get three cupcakes in that one. I'm on. Alan, my hubby. I'm just. I'm thinking of making them a little bit bigger as well than what I normally make them. Seeing as they're full of white chocolate. I don't need to flour my hands either, which is good. My daughter sent the boys out to play before. She said, right, get outside, it's not raining, sun's shining, go outside, take the dog, go and play for a bit outside. So where do they come? Straight to you? Next door? rice lollies and all sorts and then we went to play out Jesse we're only out five minutes he's back he's on his uh, phone on TikTok in my house 